Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a Bible review on a Bible that I thought I reviewed already, but I clearly didn't. So I am knocking out a bunch of these reviews. So you're not going to see a lot of... Um, content if you will on this channel until 2019 just because i'm getting things in order i'm working on the testimony series that I, I have for you guys and some other things that i'm like excited for as well as trying to uh finish up recording the james series so all of that is coming and um a lot of that stuff won't be released I guess if you will until 2019 so for the rest of 2018 you will probably be seeing um, Bible reviews since I do have a few to review for the rest of the year so I apologize ahead of time but thank you guys for your patience and your love and support <laughs> but um, yeah so this is on the pray the scripture Bibles the pray the scriptures Bible I got this Bible earlier this year during one of ChristianBook.com's like mini sales. They always have like ten dollar Bible sales, five dollar Bible sales, random ninety nine cent sales. So I know I snagged it up during one of them sales. I can't remember which sale it was, so I can't tell you get exactly the price I paid. But um, you can always find this on ChristianBook.com for a really really affordable price, like really affordable. I mean like less than fifteen dollars. So yeah. Um, I have the navy color this does come in black and hardcover I have it in the King James version which I think is the only version they do have a God's Word translation which I found out about through Cat Woods I'll leave a link to her video you can just click the eye on the screen um, but I think you have to order that one from like Barnes and Nobles or somewhere um, but it's a pretty green color but I went with the KJV. Um, my sis Anne from Transform Through God's Word has the same Bible. And um, yeah, so we're just going to dive into this. So here is a box that it comes in. I really like the box. It's really, you know, sturdy and um, great. I like that it's see-through so you can actually see the color in the actual scripture in the box. When you flip it over, you can see some of the things that it includes. So there are more than 4,500 scripture-specific prayers. There's a guide to praying scripture. There are introductions for each book of the Bible. There are different articles that are on different um, categories of prayer. And you have an index of prayers that appear in scripture as well as a topical prayer guide. So this... Sorry, you guys. I just had to respond to a quick text. <laughs> So this Bible is really geared towards someone who's looking to either study prayer more in depth or have a much stronger prayer life, which would definitely be me. Um, I'm not that great at praying out loud. I'm the type that prefers to write my prayers out. So I knew having a Bible like this would really help me to learn to really pray scripture over my life because sometimes it's really hard to pray scripture, though it sounds like stupid to say. Um, it can be hard to pray scripture because I tend to overcomplicate things in my head. So, yes, um, I got this because I wanted to just strengthen my prayer life and utilize it to put my own prayers in. So, I'm going to now take it out of the box. And here it is. The gift box is really nice and sturdy, so it's always one that I keep just to store my Bibles when I'm not using them at the moment so they don't get you know dust or anything but um, here is the Bible itself it's really small and compact it's just a really cute Bible it feels um, pretty nice and it has the Our Father prayer if you guys can see um, let me get this to focus so it says Our Father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen I actually memorized that scripture because my old church um, for youth church and as a part of the dance ministry we definitely had to memorize certain scriptures so the Our Father prayer was definitely a prayer we had to memorize for youth church and for dance ministry I had to memorize um, Psalms 91 verses 1 through 10 so those kind of like stuck with me as well as Malachi um, I think it was Malachi 314 
the one about tithes and offering, we had to memorize that for tithes and offering as well. But um, anyway, the spine just says King James Version, pray the scriptures Bible with the Bethany House symbol. And there is the ISBN on the back. Silver gilded edges, which is really nice. But now let's zoom in. Focus and pop into this Bible. So you get your standard presentation page, um, which says this Bible is presented to you by, on, and then you have Psalms 119, 105, which says that word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Here is your sort of cover page, if you will. Pray the Scriptures Bible. It's edited by Kevin Johnson, Bethany House, a division of Baker Publishing Group. Here's all of your copyright information as well as the other types. So like I said, we have a Navy Duravella. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I have the Navy one. It also comes in black. It says cloth, but I know that there's a hardcover because I did get my mother a hardcover version. Um, and then you go into your contents here. And then the Old and New Testament in numerical and alphabetical order, which I think is great. Not many Bibles do that. So let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys. There we go. Hopefully that works. So then you have this. I'm um, really not sure what this is. I Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just now going through this Bible fully with you guys. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It says, The Most High, Mighty Prince James, by the grace of God. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> um, I think that's about the King James. That's what that is. Uh, it's about the King James <laughs> version. Um, then you go into the introduction, which tells you how to pray scripture, which I think is nice. Then you go into how to use this Bible. So you have scripture prayers, Bible introductions, and authentic prayer, which kind of looks like these, which is basically the articles that they said they have on like different categories that deal with prayer. Um, then you have your topical prayer guide and your prayers in the scripture. And then you go into your Old Testament. So I'm going to start off with Genesis. Here you have Genesis. So you have your introduction. It's very compact. It's not going to be over um, over the top or extensive. It's just a compact that will just give you the logistics of the book. Then you go into the actual scriptures. So you have a single, col single column text, which I adore the single column text. That's what I'm all about right now. I just love the way um, scripture flows that way, and it allows me to annotate and make markings and stuff easily without having to over... Um, what's, what's what I'm trying to say? Without having to draw over other words in like a second column, if that makes sense. So it's single column text, but the outer portions of the page has prayers, which I love. So sometimes they will have prayers for like one specific verse, like here. So I can get this to focus. So it says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, okay? So here you have one, one. You created everything that exists from heaven below to heaven above. Um, I'm sorry, from earth below to heaven above. So that's like a prayer that you can incorporate into your kind of everyday prayer sometimes there are chunks so for this portion here 26 to 31 here is a prayer for that so it's pretty much like that throughout the entire bible and there are spaces so you can definitely write your own prayers you can stick um little pieces of paper inside and whatnot so i really really like that um this is great obviously for annotating and as well if you want to use this as a study bible but i really think this is great as like using as a prayer prompt bible um and especially since the bible has so many prayers within them i want to go through this bible and highlight all of the prayers and i know i said that i have a bible for that already but i'm going to change that bible to a different type of use and um, go in here and I'm going to highlight every single prayer that I find in the Bible. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing else to really say that I can think of right now on this so far. There is a bookmark and it is blue. So we have that. This would be Ruth. And I like how they keep it simple with the design. Um, it's kind of like a grayscale clouds in the sky up top. I really think that's nice and simple. But um, yeah, you have your scriptures. Here's 1 Samuel. So let's skip ahead to the New Testament. 
can see. So here's the New Testament. And I just want to see if it's red letter text. I could not remember if it was. Yes, okay, so this is definitely a red letter text, so that is kudos for that because I'm a fan of red letter text. Red letter text doesn't make much of a difference, but I just prefer to see the words of Christ in red. I don't know, I'm just spoiled that way because I've always had Bibles that had the word of Christ written in red. So it's kind of like one of the things that, um, I, sorry you guys, I'm looking at a text because <laughs> I'm talking to um, the dance ministry. We have to dance soon out at a church, so we're doing some discussion. But um, yeah, so I just, I, I prefer red letter text. It just emphasizes the words of Christ for me. I don't know. It might not make a difference for you guys, but for me it does. But um, yeah, you know, it's it's a pretty standard Bible. I mean, there's not much to really talk about. It's standard. You know, you have your prayers, prayer prompts here. And they're for basically every scripture, you know? They'll do it in chunks, like this one is for 35 to 45. This one is for 46 to 52. This one is 1 to 11. So, like... They do them in chunks, but they're great if you don't know where to start or where to begin. Again, I am going to be inserting my own prayers, sticking in washi taping and papers and index cards and little images about prayer because I really want this Bible to help me um, be focused and centered on prayer. I will be utilizing this in conjunction with my prayer journal, which sadly I have not been using in a very long time. Let me quickly grab it. Okay guys, so here's my prayer journal. I haven't used this in such, such a long time. The last time that I used this, oh, was September. Um, so I've only used this much because, like I said, I haven't been keeping up with it, which is terrible on my behalf. So I'm going to be utilizing this in conjunction with this prayer journal. And I think I did a video on my prayer journal. If I did, I'll leave it. You can just click the I on the screen. Um, I will be doing a how to create a prayer journal from scratch. My prayer journal is very simple. I don't split it up into categories like most people do. I just find that that can be overwhelming. <laughs> um, I just like to use my prayer journal as a journal, but, but strictly for my conversations with the Lord. Um, so I'm going to do a whole kind of prayer journal from scratch video for you guys. But yeah, here is the Bible. And you see, here's John. You know I'm going to go through John like 30 times. And these are not going to be like over the top hard uh, prayers. They're going to be simple prayers that you can remember and say in your sleep, which I like. Um, because, like again, like I said, not many of us are good with praying out loud. So these are great to help you pray the word of God over your life. Um, let's go to the end. Okay, Revelation, Revelation. I'm going to show you guys the articles in a second. But we're going to go to the back of the Bible quickly. So here is your topical guide. So... Different things you can talk, um, pray over, if you will, like confession prayer, prayer for comfort, prayer for asking, um, for the body of Christ. You know, there are different topics they have here, and they give you the specific um, book and verse to go to, which is great. So, let's see. There you go. And then they give you all, I think these are all of the prayers that are in scripture, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, these are going to be all of the prayers that you can find within scripture, whether they're prayers by specific, they're, um, I'm sorry, they're basically prayers by the specific people in the Bible that you can find. So I like that they do this for you. This is really awesome. So let me see if I can quickly find one of those articles. Here we go. So here's an authentic prayer, and um, this one is on simplicity. So it basically gives you the scripture, tells you something about it, and then pray the scripture of pray the scripture of simplicity, and it tells you what scriptures to go to about simplicity. Let's see if I can find another one. Here's one here. 
This one is about confusion. So you have authentic prayer, confusion, Habakkuk, and um, it tells you which prayers to pray over yourself if you're ever confused or anything like that. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much a simple Bible. I'm not going to, you know, make this video super long because there's, there's no need for it to be long. Um, I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to help you get into a more um, in-depth prayer life. For me, I know that this is going to come in handy and I'm going to start using this actually today. Um, but yeah, this is the Pray the Scriptures Bible from Bethany House in the King James Translation. Again, this is in the blue. I'm just showing you guys quickly. It's the blue. And um, it's really nice. I like the silver gilded edges. It does, I'm not going to say it, it feels nice. Um, it's a nice Bible, but it has sort of that... I don't know, plasticky feel. It, it's hard to explain it, but um, it is a nice Bible. The paper quality is really nice to me. I don't think there's anything wrong with the paper quality. You can definitely see some um, fading from the other side, which it doesn't bother me. Some people may get bothered by that. When it comes to um, things like that, I don't really tend to get bothered as much as other people, but um, yeah, this is it. And, yeah, if you're interested, just check down below for the link to christianbook.com or Amazon. Grab you a copy, and if you do get one, let me know how you're going to use it. Again, I'm going to use this specifically for prayer, so I'm going to go through all of the prayers that they list in the back. I'm going to highlight them according to their specific categories. Let me grab that Bible. If you guys remember, I was using this devotional Bible for um, my prayer Bible, and I have, like, prayers marked by specific colors let's get this to focus properly so like um, here we have a prayer that I highlighted so you know just throughout this Bible I was just highlighting prayers and I think I'm going to switch from this Bible and just use this Bible specifically for reading and stick this inside of this Bible and highlight all of the prayers as well as insert my own kind of prayer so once I get um, a flow of using this Bible. I'm definitely going to come back and do like a Bible tour of how I'm using this Bible. But um, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there is something further you want me to explain. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.